Hey everybody! Welcome to the stream, my first interview with my guest, Pastel Princess Mary! Mm. Hi everyone, it's me, Pastel Princess Mary. How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. Let's go to the audience, clap, but you wouldn't hear it and it would just go over the top <laughs> of you talking. <laughs> How are you feeling today, Mary? Got you... Good. Yeah, got you a wee uh, drink there. Yes, thank you for the cappuccino. It is delicious. Cappuccino? I don't really drink coffee, so mine's like Coke Zero. Coke Zero <laughs> mug. And then is when that the your go-to drink? Yeah, when the rest are, uh, rest of the cups are in the wash or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that happens. Mug it up. Now oh, my go-to is probably cream soda right now. Uh, so Mari, can you, for people that I haven't seen your content before. Can you give us a little introduction and what your content's like? Yeah. So my name is Mari and I go by Pastel Princess Mari because I'm princess of the Pastel Kingdom. I am a squirrel, as you guys can see my big poofy tail. I like to do comfy streams. Uh, I think everybody says this, but I'm a variety streamer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I play a lot of different kinds of games, um, like from comfy to like chaotic. Not too many shooters, but I do play shooters as well. Uh, every now and then I lie about doing baking streams and sometimes I actually do them. <laughs> but I like to bake in general. And I also want to get into like doing more art streams and uh, some crafting streams. I just re-signed up for Boxu, which is like a monthly snack subscription. And I want to do like, I've done a couple of streams so far where I like just eat snacks and hang out and chat with chat. I like chatting. Yeah, sounds cool. Sounds cool. Have you got any Gunpla lined up for your uh, crafting streams? So I bought a little, like, I think it's called Wobble or Wooble. Okay. It's like a little starter kit for crocheting. And yeah. I already forgot what shape I bought, but I bought one so I can try making a little, I think it was a dinosaur. I don't remember right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to, I, I like, I like, this is like my toxic trait. I like starting new crafty hobbies and then dropping them after a while. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Um, so how long have you been streaming for? I just had my two year anniversary in December. So I actually debuted it on my birthday, December the 8th. And so that's also my anniversary for stream. Oh, that's good. Two celebrations in one. That's a good way to remember it. <laughs> you just pick it that you yeah. already celebrate it. <laughs> nice. I was like, when should I debut? When should I debut? And I was like, you watched know, it on my birthday. <laughs> she have done it on Jesus' birthday. That would have been. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's already trying to steal my month. It's my month. Yeah, competing with a big man. Yeah, this is an iPad, mm -hmm. isn't it? I've tried to interview people. So, what started you with streaming in the first place? What inspired you to start streaming? So, I actually bought my my original model, Baby Mari. You've seen Baby Mari from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> I bought her because uh, I used to do private art streams with my friends and we'd just kind of hang out and everybody would be drawing at the same time. And for some reason I was like, oh, I want to have something cute of my character with this like pretty much new technology back then, I suppose. Uh, so I did that and then Moshi was like, when are you going to debut? And I was like, oh, <laughs> and all my friends were like, why don't you just do it? Why don't you just start streaming? So I was like, maybe I could. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. Are people going to want to watch me? So after some encouragement from people, I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and do it. So that's why when I like debuted it, I actually debuted it with like a model. I highly recommend new people start off with like a PNG first to see if you'll enjoy it. But at the time, you know, before before Moshi Studio wasn't wasn't too bad on the wallet, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought, you know, my model back then and finally was like, okay, I'm gonna stream. And then I was like, and I'll debut on my birthday. And nice. then it kinda went from there. Nice. So you're already sort of streaming with your friends? Yeah. Yeah, we weren't really like talking though. It was more like quiet, all of us drawing and talking in text kind of thing. So it wasn't exactly the same thing, but okay. it, it was fun because we kind of like encourage each other to draw. Yeah. And I definitely drew more whenever we used to do that. So I'm like, man, maybe I should do that again. <laughs> and Moshi asking or really. you. Mushi, when you get a debut? Yeah, see, asking you to debut is like her kicking you out of the whim, isn't it? Yeah, it's like mom being like, <laughs> when are you going to get a job? <laughs> so, when you do stream, what's, uh, I, think, I think you talked about it before a little bit. What kind of vibe do you promote 
on your stream? I, I like to do like comfy vibes, not necessarily family friendly, but I do try to keep it like, you know, not too wild. As you might know, I'm, I'm, I would consider myself a say-so streamer. I have friends who are a little wild and sometimes <laughs> yeah. get a little, like I don't mind people like cursing your stuff on my stream. Uh, I don't personally curse like in real life or like on stream. So that's just like my natural behavior, I guess. Is that just but in case the big man's my... watching? <laughs> but I let my friends like be themselves whenever okay. they're on stream. Like they can curse. Maybe, maybe I, I know the other day we were playing Core Keeper and mm. uh, there, and then my friend Eo was like, I, I can't say what I'm thinking on Mari's stream. And I was like, okay, I'll mute my, I'll be back. I'll deafen for like a few seconds. So Y'all can talk about whatever. Yeah, yeah. It was too lewd. Whatever she said, it was too lewd. <laughs> too lewd. Yeah, I don't tend to do the lewd stuff myself, but I'm more vulgar, I guess, than me. <laughs> well, just... you are a Viking, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's being Irish as well. You just. You'd swear to your parents and everything. <laughs> really? Yeah. When I when I was young, my mom, and maybe this is part of the reason I am the way I am, but my mom didn't want to use like the word dumb or stupid even back then. So right. That probably explains a lot about me. She used she used baka instead, did she? <laughs> baka. baka. <laughs> I don't think I've been a. Uh -oh. Like an anime enthusiast that long, but I definitely have been for a while. So back, back, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you're this is a new model, right? From what I, what I've seen since the last time we streamed together. Yeah. Uh, so um, what's the inspiration I my, for it? I was getting my princess outfit, and I wanted to get like uh, a more noticeable tail because people thought I was as a, a cat because of my ears, I guess. <laughs> so I was like, and I wanted to get like more fluffy wings so i went ahead and got that and i also i got my dentures <laughs> i got full oh, teeth yeah, now. Beef, yeah yeah <laughs> i haven't green mine I was, yet <laughs> i was joking with my friend because i'm a little older than her and i'm like it's because i like i finally got my dentures put in <laughs> yeah okay but, uh all my designs and like outfits and stuff i i have three main people on them so my original creator was Michaela. Mm -hmm. she designed my like whole concept i bought her as like a, an adopt and her name actually was originally isabel so if anyone knows that they're like the og followers <laughs> okay or they just happened to hear me mention it at some point but even in my server there was a few emotes that said isabel instead of mari and people were like why does it say isabel I'm like oh that's because back then her name used to be isabel Ooh. so this outfit this design was all Michaela. But since then, like my princess dress, they'll be debuting in a couple months. Uh, that's by artist named Thirteenth Asylum. Um, okay. Yeah, she made my princess dress, also my bathing suit, and then the other, the third artist that I've gotten um, outfits from is Selena Mustang. Or yeah, Selena Mustang. <laughs> it's it's like having uh, multiple people work on your wardrobe like a like an actor in a movie isn't it you've got the hair people yeah. and the makeup people and the clothing department <laughs> exactly basically like that and they all come together to make this one one piece mm -hmm. nice i like it even even my second character liliana which i don't know if you have seen yet uh, she was designed by michaela and 13th asylum okay i've seen it i've seen a little bit of it i don't think i've seen you <laughs> using the model yet though I have a chibi model. I can show it off right now if you want. Uh, sneak peek? Yeah, because I've, I've used this one on stream before. Let me Is it the same, uh, out. do you have the same color in the background? Yeah, <laughs> it won't, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not going to change. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't change the color that she has. <laughs> I don't think she has blue. Yeah, she's like purple and pink, so I shouldn't mess up her colors. Okay. But the, the background color won't change, so let me see. She's a little shorter, so let's see how she pops up. Oh, big head. <laughs> hey! Is this for the tea parties in the in the dark forest? <laughs> so I kind of had the idea for this one. I I'm gonna make lore at some point, but um, I was gonna be like peasants, <laughs> 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 like a darker personality. But I'm like I haven't been able to lean into it. Oh, okay, you want to <laughs> you want to become less sazo, do you? Not, not like I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> this was swears, yeah. <laughs> 
Mm. Maybe no swearing, but I definitely want to be like, maybe more Sundere. Okay. And like, instead of saying my precious acorns, I'm like, thank you for being here, peasants. <laughs> I actually have a background suited for your character. Oh, oh yeah? Can, yeah, if we just <laughs> make it nighttime. <laughs> oh, perfect. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> We got the studio lights on us there, so we... <laughs> we're nice and bright. Yeah, hey this yo. one's also by Michaela in thir 13th Asylum. She's a, I'm a vampire. Yeah, so if you see like a content creator out there with a lot of people, you know, spouting negative stuff in their chat, <laughs> would you blame the content creator for that? Mm, I wouldn't, because I mean, I feel like this would be the same with any fan base. You can't control what they do. Like, mm. I know, like, specifically with, like, anime and a lot of other communities, the, the members are, like, not <laughs> the, the well behaved, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, not the friendliest to new people. So I, I wouldn't blame a, a content creator for their community, but, like, if unless they're encouraging people to do certain behavior, then I would be like, well, you're encouraging this behavior or you're not discouraging it, I suppose, mm. too. So it just kind of, I think it would just be case by case basis. If they're not discouraging, like say if there's like drama, which we all know there's always drama in the VTuber community <laughs> and something happened and one person's, A person's community was going after B person's community and the person, um, there's a way you can be like, hey, this happened. I just want to warn y'all about this and say, don't attack the person, you know, I just want you to, to be aware of the situation. So they're taking responsibility for a community, like discouraging the very bad behavior. Yeah. You know? Instead so then of... if they, their community still does it, then it's not their fault because people don't listen. Yeah. Instead of telling them to pick up the pitchforks, it's I'm for yeah. a witch hunt. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. But I'm pretty good at avoiding dramas when people are like, oh, this happened. I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I get you, TM. Uh, stay under the rock, eh? Do I? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so how would you describe like the, the VTuber community as a whole? Is uh, it welcoming? Well, I think, um, I feel like there's pockets in the VTuber community. I don't think there's like a whole VTuber community. I think you can kind of create your own space within the VTuber community. Like I follow a lot of people and I don't usually see the drama side of it. I know it exists and I get a peek of it here and there, but yeah, I, I think, think it's more like pockets. like you can create yourself and be a part of like a smaller community within the bigger community so i think the smaller communities are good you know people who are there's definitely a lot of people who like me and you they just want to get into this hobby or turn the hobby into a career and they're very serious about like wanting to build their community and build content and build connections and make friends and then there's you know outside of that kind of thing the the JP model expectations, idol, idol expectations. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely that too. <laughs> Some people are like, like you need to do everything, and I kind of, I kind of want to do more. But yeah, there's definitely like, and then there, like there, I think, then there's also indie versus like corporate community. That's definitely like a whole separate like thing. I feel like though some people, it's hard, it's hard not to compare yourself to it. But I feel like those communities should be separate. Yeah. For sure. And then the, you've been in the VTuber community for a while now. Have you seen anyone that you would just love to collab with or streamers that aren't in the VTuber community? And yeah. What's, what's so your dream collab? Recently, I actually didn't watch a lot of VTubers when I first started. and But um, I, I like found recently some creators I really enjoy. Like uh, MEVT. She's like a, a pink rainbow vtuber <laughs> okay. and she's really sweet and i i would love to collab with her maybe some fortnite because we both play fortnite i think our communities want us to collab maybe my community definitely does which is like like mm. aqua my mod watches her too and he's like would you collab with her and i'm like when i get when i get the courage to ask and she's a different time zone too so we'd have to like work that out too yeah and then there's luet her her and any kind of rate each other and i've rated her Rated both of them a few times, and they rated me back a few times too. 
She's like a clown VTuber, also pink hair and colorful. <laughs> you can see a theme there. Yeah, <laughs> you're getting your own haram, haram together. <laughs> yeah, I'm, getting, I'm gathering all the rainbow VTubers. And then there's a uh, Clovet. She is a... Uh, oh, what is her motif? Can't think right now. She's she's really fun to watch, and watching her made me think like, oh, I really want to like present more energy in my streams and like makes me want to work hard because I enjoy her. I think she's a bear. Akuma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was rough. It was as as ghoul, I'd say, is to try and break video games. Oh yeah. He's because there's I think Raft added this plank that can be any length, or it can have any start and end point. It's like a mm -hmm. flexi, flexi plank, so you can customize your raft a bit better. But mm -hmm. he, he used it to create a wooden tornado above his raft, and it was just his... <laughs> it was so big. And then it's, he, I think he did it... He did the whole thing of like touching the ground. He's like, that's for peasants. I don't want to swim anymore. So he just builds rafts with planks everywhere. <laughs> We, uh, I went into creative mode with my friend uh, Eo, mm -hmm. and there, I get, where you can like you know build whatever, not worry about materials. I guess just to, like make a fancy raft for like just uh, looks instead of functionality. And she was like, she found a stick. It's like you can just make it longer. So she started to build like sticks on sticks to like get to the sky. I think that and I was like, it. wait a minute. And I was like, wait a minute. Can't you just do the ladder? So I put up a ladder. <laughs> And I was like, oh yeah, it doesn't need to be on like a like a second floor, for example. So I started putting ladders and ladders up. And I was like, hey, 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 EO hasn't noticed. And then I just kept putting ladders and ladders and ladders to go higher and higher. And she looked over and she's like, what? And I was like, you can just put ladders and not to worry about like the angle of the stick. So we like, I don't know how many we put together, but we were like trying to see how high it can get. Finally, we were like, is there an end? Like, is there a sky limit? Can you be like in the clouds and then it stops? No, once you what? get to a new planet, it, that's when Astroneer starts. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> it's a different game, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, it doesn't have a limit. It just keeps going. You can't, you can't get closer to the moon. That's the that's the PC player problem, isn't it? <laughs> if you've got yeah. a whole catalog on on the consoles, they're expensive shit. So mm -hmm. you, you buy and play, then and there. I did get a, I did get a couple of uh, Switch games. Um, because I saw the, what's it, what was it called? Like, like the comfy games, um, okay. Nintendo, like, like Nintendo Direct, I don't know what it's called. Like a promotion or something for? Yeah, like, you know, they always do like a yearly thing and apparently have a yearly indie game. That's what I'm saying, yeah, indie game, direct. Indie World, so I guess I do Indie World yearly and, um, I bought... A little to the left, which is kind of like um, the one where you move. What was it called? Unpacking, kind of like unpacking. Okay. So I have that one to play on the Switch in the future. It's not like uh, moving out, is it? No, no. So it's like it's called a little to the left. Yeah. It's like when you're organizing something, you're like, is that good? Oh no, let me move it a little to the left, and mm -hmm. then it's like more evenly spaced. Okay. Yeah, I think I have the same. Well, how did you? You like anime, yeah? Just to yeah. confirm. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how did you get into anime? Like, what was your first experiences with it? So, my brother, I don't know how he got into anime, but my brother was watching anime and stuff, and I just happened to see it, and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. So I got into, like, buying um, manga back then, because uh, there wasn't all of anime back in my day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, um, you know, I watched, like, I think it was Toonami, anime on Toonami. There was like Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z. Okay. And uh, there's a, the, for manga, there was like a writer named Ken Akamatsu. And I'm really bad with like names and stuff. So it's, it, that's how, that's how much it sticks out to me, the name that like, I remember it still to this day. Uh, he wrote like, Love Hina, AI Love You. And there's another one. See. Oh, oh, and um, <clears throat> Negima. Like the... Are you familiar with any of those? Uh, no. <laughs> no? I think would have. I would know more about video games okay, than you said, anime. But... Yeah, you said more. You said you watched like more newer stuff. Huh? Yeah. And he actually had a series come out more recently. Still old to this day, but I didn't know this was another one. I guess this one was 2013. You, you, 
Q holder. I was like, wow. U, U Q holder. Okay. That's 28 volumes, apparently. I haven't read that one yet, but that was like the stuff I read back then. And the stuff I watched was like, yeah, Sailor Moon. I started with, I think most people back then started with Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah. I did. That was on like uh, Cartoon Cartoon Network or something. Yeah, Cartoon Network. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was like, yeah, Dragon Outlaw Ball, Star. Naruto, Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I watched as well as a kid. But for me, they, I don't know. I don't count them as animes because I'm. <laughs> I watch them. They don't seem the same as things like Attack on Titan and all. Because those. But that's that's I like know. the origin. I know. <laughs> that counts too. It's just uh, like I don't know. <laughs> art style has changed over the years. You know. Yeah. That was like the the primary, like the beginner anime style. Yeah, it's still anime. Like it's just that newer anime has a more cleaner style. Same with like cartoons. You know, just art I've, style I've... evolves over time. I feel like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh and such are for more tailored for kids, whereas Attack on Titan isn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's but like, there's still older animes like Outlaw Star, which aren't necessarily for kids. Yeah. It's slice, like, like Slice like, of Life. You have to say you don't like Slice of Life then? No, I watched K-On. It was apparently like one of the best Slice of Life animes. Mm -hmm. It's just girls in a band at high school together. <laughs> I'm like, where so, uh, is the action? Are you watching? <laughs> oh, if you like that one, are you gonna watch Bochi? Bochi I didn't... the Brock? No, I didn't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I like a variety, just like my yeah. gaming. I like a variety of stuff. My music and like gaming taste is oh, that... variety. So I like slice of life. Uh, I like action stuff. I'm I'm really into like isekai anime, which oh, is where. Yeah. You... You, you know already, but if Shorter, chat doesn't yeah. know, it's where you where you die like in your world. The character dies in their world but gets reincarnated in a different world. So I like yeah. those kind of animes. And like in my I've been reading webtoons a lot recently. Okay. And I like the ones where it's like a, a queen and they're reincarnated or just a queen and then like they're going through stuff. Yeah. That's like my, my thing right now. <laughs> And what? some people, I read their reviews sometimes, and they're like, "This is just like this other one." I'm like, "No, this is why I'm reading it." <laughs> and they're like, "There's so many, there's so many like this." I was like, "Give me your recommendations, then. Where are they? I'm looking for them. I, I want to see the same thing because I like this thing." The people just want the same thing, but a bit different, you know, because it's what we like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like game developers can't seem to do that with their sequels. <laughs> it's a yeah. little bit of difference, you know. Don't make a whole different genre. This is not what we wanted. Oh, like. Like Horizon, I love Horizon Zero Dawn. I haven't played the new one, but that one was really good. That was like that one and like the one of the newer uh, Tomb Raider games. It's like what got me into like oh, I want to beat games now, kind of. And streaming, streaming actually really got me into like wanting to actually play games because I was a lazy gamer for a long oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> and streaming kind of motivated me to do something I love, which is playing video games. Oh no, when I during my Call of Duty and FIFA days, uh, I was on energy drinks and I was just going for the hardest difficulty. <laughs> you sound was, like my mod, Andy. I was so hyper at games. So I'm really chill now though. I just, I just play nice relaxed games, you know, breeding mm -hmm. dinosaurs and things like that to kill giant gorillas. That's the usual, you know? Oh yeah, normal stuff. Normal stuff. Oh, normal, normal slice of life stuff. Slice of life, yeah. <laughs> But that's what I didn't I didn't put on there to ask. Um, is there is there a game genre or anime genre that you just hate? That I don't like. Yeah, that uh... you don't like. like oh, so game game genre. Game genre. I, think I don't. I think I don't like uh, Castlevania games. Metroidvania. Yeah, Metroidvania. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. Like, like Hollow Knight. Yeah. Even though I'm playing that, I think I'm not a big fan of Metro. What? Knight. That's like my Metro, favorite game. I've got a picture is. of it on the wall. <laughs> see. Like, I don't think I like that genre too much. Like, I wouldn't okay. play a lot of them. Like, I've been playing a lot of, like, I don't know, some some game, some genres. I'm not sure if it's like, that's the norm, you know, Hollow Knight. I think it's half a Souls-like as well. Souls-like? Um, I don't think I... Have, have dislike or dislike that but yeah i think like tunic is kind of souls like too yeah and if you've heard of that one i'm playing it oh yeah and then i think I, I own a game that i started to play uh 
What is it? What were you just talking about? Uh, Souls Likes. So, yeah, Souls. I, I think I have Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3? One of my friends bought it for me, yeah. And we actually played it together, but I had like a hacker come in the game and mess up all my gear. Oh, shit. And we wanted to do it together, but like if the experience was ruined. Somebody was like, oh, I'll come in and like give you some souls. And they had an inappropriate name. So it was just a hot mess. Yeah. So I haven't gone back to play yet. But if I do, it'll probably be solo. Because um, first, like, it felt like I was cheating when you helped me with one of the boss fights. Yeah. But I, I didn't really the... do anything. I'm not sure if. It's the same in Dark Souls. In Elden Ring, when a friend is there, the boss's health scales for two people. Oh, I don't think it is for Dark Souls 3, but huh, that's interesting. I also didn't know Elden Ring was so expensive. I was expensive. gonna buy it for <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna buy it for a friend, but I was like, this is too much. Game of the year. It's like it's like <laughs> sixty bucks, fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, it's worth a hundred <laughs> for the game. Put it up, I think it's <laughs> Yeah. Top, top game. I'm playing it at the moment. <laughs> oh, are you? Again. Yeah. Final question. Do you have any upcoming anime that you, you're eager to see? Mm, I actually don't know any upcoming anime. Season twos of anything? They're just kind of, uh, I just kind of like get on Crunchyroll. I'm like, all right, I need something to watch. There, There isn't one that I, season two's already out, but I was looking for something to watch yesterday. I had the day off and I just kind of sat there and watched anime by the grace of the gods that one has a season two okay i just i finished one yesterday <laughs> yeah and uh i'm starting to but i don't know is there a way to see like what's upcoming yeah there's like um calendars well there's that i don't know if you use my anime list no you? that's a good one for i mean i like oh, making I lists go. so <laughs> Yeah. You, can, you can keep track of all the animes you've seen and then you can give it a rating and then you can have a you can share that with people share that list oh well, goblin slayer i like that one goblin slayer so that's another one that's kind of different to like other animes i would say spy family season two yes would like to watch i'm actually i haven't seen one punch man but i need to watch it because it's apparently on season three soon that's the one i've seen <laughs> it's probably the only one i've seen you haven't seen yeah Oh, there's a this other one. I only see the in, the Japanese name, but it's like love comedy. Yahari ore no seishun love comedy. But I feel like there's an English name to that. Yeah, if, if like it's on snafu. if it's on my anime list, if you click on it, it should say both names together. Oh, okay. My youth romantic comedy is wrong. <laughs> it's like it's just a, one of the long ones, as I expected. My youth romantic comedy is wrong, as I expected. That one's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I I really liked season one of ReZero, and season two, personally, I'm like, mm, I don't know. There's one that I watched, like one of the first ones, called Knights of Sidonia, mm. and I didn't realize it had a season two until like a year or two later. Then when I watched season two, <laughs> I was like, this is gross. <laughs> it's like, because the art style is very different it's almost 3d yeah compared to every other anime i've seen since then i'm like this couldn't be what season one was like this is what the fuck was in my eyes yeah and then i went back and looked at season one I was like yeah it is actually like that <laughs> this is weird <laughs> but i had to watch it you know nostalgic they were like yeah watch knights of sidonia yeah that was, that was what the guy forced me to watch uh, oh there's this other slime one they said oh yeah i've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level season two coming out the first one was good really like all these titles are so creative <laughs> yeah. you, you know it's an anime when it has like a really long title and the only one i've watched like that is how to pick up girls in dungeons oh i love how to pick up girls in dungeons it's, it's uh, actually that anime wanted me to like make all my characters white hair with red eyes so like yeah. my final fantasy 14 character had uh, like blonde hair with red eyes yeah He's... bungle stray dogs was really good have you seen that one? No. Is that a slice of life? No, it's more action. You'll def there's definitely fighting in there, so you'll probably like it. Is there action in there? Hey, Nava. There's action in there. There's action in there. Yeah. What's the... Do you like thriller anime? Um, I'll pretty much watch anything just to try it out. There hasn't... I'm I'm not picky with stuff. Like, literally the only movie I didn't like that much was uh, the, the live action... Um, oh, shoot, the words escaped my brain. Uh, oh, oh uh, Blast Airbender. <laughs> the live action Last Enderman. 
That doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> it's not anime. That, no, I'm, saying, I'm not saying anime. I'm saying I'm like the... Oh. Like, I don't write anything bad. That's literally the only thing I've ever, like, seen that I'm like, eh, wasn't that good. Okay. Literally everything else gets, like, it was good for me. Oh, right, yeah. Because okay. I'm just not picky. Yeah. Thanks, Mario. Thanks for being my first guest. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream today. Uh, I want to thank you all for coming, and um, we'll see you next time.